Well, uh, congratulations on the win. Thank you so much. Um, talk to me about you know what it feels like. Obviously, it's a huge relief for well, Coach Koontz, but for you to win this match. It's a huge relief for our whole team. I know our, our whole, not season, but our whole program has always been sort of, we've always been fighting San Barbara. It's always been close, but they, we've never been able to clench one like that. So it just, I think Koontz at the most, it hasn't quite sunk in yet, but it's still huge for us. I think for at least most, almost all the seniors, for, uh, that we have not beaten Santa Barbara in our high school career. So to have it end on this note just means so much for us. It's unbelievable. You guys have been playing down a couple of key key players, obviously returning starters, yet you on the outside and Spencer stepping up and Ben. Um, what, what's been the real key down the stretch here? Um, I feel like we've really come together as a team. We've never really had a full team before. We've always had either one player out for basketball or one player out because of grades or something like that. So we've never been completely there. And we're starting to really come together as a team and really couldn't put it best really say we're trusting each other our server Steve is really strong right now and that's why I'd really attribute to it Neil's really leading us on setting Ben McKenzie has too much energy out there he's going crazy Spencer knows when to pick it up in those key moments so nobody none of the setters have been dumping this whole match it seemed like and then Neil comes out and drops out one Neil is a really competitive but sometimes quiet guy but I'll, I he's a very competitive guy so I knew he want he wants to get that dump Right. So I'm really happy for him on that. There is, I mean, it's scary to watch Ben hit that one out. Just so it's a nail biter. It's like, please don't go into 24 all. Yeah. And Neil didn't want that to go over, so he put it away. And that's, that's what I want. I mean, Coons always says you get one dump a match to go down, and that was Neil's golden dump Good of his time life for right there. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Cool. right now. I'd have to say this is probably the, one of the hardest losses as a coach, you know, knowing that we, we were definitely a better t team on paper, but got to give uh, San Marcos a lot of credit. Rogers gotten them, they're fighting, they're playing hard. Um, so we, we just, we're, we're not, I don't think we're out there enjoying the game of volleyball at all. You know, I told the guys that, hey, you guys got to have fun out there, have a good time, and, and we just weren't clicking. But, uh, you know, I was hoping a, a good, usually the better team finds a way to win no matter how sloppy it is. And unfortunately, we just uh, came out on the end of it. So it's, it's one of those things where, you know, all we can do is just learn from it and know that, hey, uh, we got two other big matches coming up. And we got DP who's going to be hungry knowing that we lost. So um, I got to give Roger a lot of credit. That's, you know, first time I've lost in eight years to San Marcus. And it, it's tough. You know, it's, it's, I, I don't, I'm not used to losing a lot in Channel League. And, and uh, I guess we got to just we gotta work harder, I guess, and practice and just everything. And more attentive to details. And uh, we just were not on. You know? Pose myself here and say something brilliant here. Right? Well, uh, first career win over over the Dons, right? Yeah. How's it, it feel? Uh, this is a long time in coming. Even as Woo! a head football coach, I didn't get the opportunity to beat him, and uh, so um, I thought that our guys played. Just, we've been playing this way for a couple weeks now. We've been playing just really strong volleyball, and so we took advantage of our opportunities. And, and I, quite honestly, we didn't fall through tonight, which was great. Did you tell Holiday to dump that ball if it was in the right spot on last play? We talked about it beforehand. I'd say we, it, he's, he's been very good about it. He's real long up at the net, and uh, we talked about it. We said if we get the opportunity, let's go ahead and just take it home. And, and it was all him. He, he does that. What crept into your mind in the fourth game when they made a little run there and you had to call it the last time out you called? You know, I tried not to think about it because we've been in a position before with DP last week where we had them on the ropes at 13-11. And uh, Benny McKenzie, who has faltered at times at the end, played really strong throughout the, as, as the rest of our guys did too. So. You, neither team set the middle that much. How nice to, to have experienced guys like Jackson, uh, you know, putting away balls on the outside. You know, I thought that our passing was pretty good tonight. Yeah. I thought that we were in we were in system most of the night tonight. We weren't really frantic up there, and we had a front and backside attack at the pins, and that's what carried us through. What's next for you guys? We play Buena on Thursday at Buena, and then uh, we close out uh, at the
Dos Pueblos next Thursday. So the next two matches are as important as this one for us to get to CIF right now. But quite honestly, this is a huge victory for us. I mean, I can't think of anything bigger for these guys than a, than a win over Santa Monica at home. You don't, you don't have time for Disneyland, but what are you going to do to celebrate? You know, I don't know. I'm kind of a little bit numb right now. It's, it, it's, they've, they've had our number for such a long time that uh, I've got to just kind of uh, let it let it sift in and, and then go enjoy the time. I'll probably get with my best buddy, Brian Montgomery, and, and celebrate a little bit. So. All right, cool.